The only hope for this country is God. Okay? That's the only hope. How many here believe in the power of prayer? Raise your hand. Okay. I come here tonight as a private citizen and as a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay? I believe Jesus is the Son of God, that He came to this earth to take our sins, that He died and shed His blood for our sins, and that God raised Him to life. And the only hope is if we confess our sins and turn and believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. President, President Trump holds the greatest rallies. No one in the history of the United States has put on rallies like Donald Trump. Nobody. People will stand for hours in line. The energy is unmatched. People leave excited, pumped up. There's nothing like a Trump rally. However, rallies and positive poll numbers are not going to win this election. It's going to be God. There's a spiritual element that's at work here. There are dark forces that are arrayed against this man. They've tried to put him in prison. They've tried to assassinate him twice. He's attacked every day in the media. And the only hope for Donald J. Trump and our nation is God. I've encouraged President Trump that when he wakes up in the morning, that the first thing he does is to ask God for help. And if he does, God will hear and God will answer his prayer. The Bible says in Psalms 20, some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Okay. How many of you believe in prayer? Raise your hand. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to stand. And I've got about two minutes left of my five minutes. And here's what I want to ask you to do. I want you to pray out loud as God leads you in your heart to pray for President Trump, that God would give him wisdom, that God would protect him, that God would guide and direct his each and every step, and that God would bless this nation once again. So pray out loud. You all said you all knew how to pray. You pray out loud, and I'll close this in about two minutes, okay? So let's pray. Pray out loud.
Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. And we come tonight humbly, Father, confessing our sins and asking for forgiveness. Our nation is guilty of many sins. But, Father, we pray for President Trump. We pray for his family, those that he loves. Watch over and protect them. Guide and direct his steps. And, Father, we pray that when he wakes up in the morning, the first thing he'll do is he'll turn to you and ask for your help. And, Father, we believe that you'll hear our prayers, that you'll hear his prayers. So, Father, we come tonight to say thank you. And we pray for our nation. And, Father, if it be thy will, that President Trump will win this election. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's all pray together. Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before you, and we believe, Lord, that you are the answer for all the problems that we're facing. That we can put our hope in you through Jesus yes, Lord. and have hope again. Yes, Lord. Our faith can be built up again. That you can return to us the joy that is only from you. However, today, Lord, we lift up the man that we believe you've put your hand upon yes, to help restore America and bring America back to the place that honors you to a place where we will not be kicked out for saying Christ the King Amen. or Jesus is Lord. Amen. Lord, we want all faiths to be respected. Yes, sir. All faiths. And we thank you that this is a man that does, in fact, respect all people of faith. So we ask, Lord, you would strengthen him, that you'd send your holy and warrior angels around him like we've seen evidenced already. But you continue, Lord, because we know that the blood of Jesus draws us near you. So we ask for that covering over him, that he would continue to hear your voice, that you would continue to order his steps, and that he would help us to make America godly again. Amen. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Apostle, let Apostle get in here. As I was talking yesterday to the, uh, in North Carolina, I mentioned to people the fact that this is not a war between the left and the right. This is a war between good and evil. So we can combat that. We can fight that in the natural. We need spiritual weapons to fight it. So prayer is one of them. And I believe uh, President Trump is here because there's a purpose, there's a higher assignment for him to finish with this nation. So we're going to pray, prayer. The Bible says that let's pray for the will of God to come. Yes. Meaning, what's the will of God? The Bible says God sets up kings. Yes. He removes kings. We're going to pray for the will of God for him to be the next 47 president. Amen. Do you believe that? We're gonna, I want you to stretch your hands toward him. In the Old Testament, the prophets anointed the kings to become kings. So today, we're going to do what the Bible says. We're going to bring the will of God, and we're going to pray for the president, for President Trump to be the next president. So I want you to stretch your hand, and I want you to pray whatever you want to pray, out loud, but let's pray with all the heart. Father, we thank you. We come to you. And we lift up President Trump. Father, you protected him. You guarded him with a purpose for this time, such a time as this. And we pray today, Father, as an apostle in this country, as, as a man of God in this country, I pray for the kingdom of God to come, for the will of God to come, and for you to establish your will upon his life. And Father, we anointed him today 
we anointed him to be the next 47th president yeah. of the United States yeah. to restore the biblical values. Yeah. Father, and I thank you today. You protected him. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. And he will go to the White House, Father, to represent you and to do your will in your assignment. I pray today that you will be done and we'll be celebrating that you have put him as the next president. We give you the praise for your protection and we pray for his family. We pray for every member of his family. You protected him, God, and to you be the glory. And today we can declare freely, Father, freely jesus is lord over his life in jesus name amen ye latin america pastors is a lot donald de trump ne ledi love ke total no yetebalo donald de trump ke latin america pastors na ke latin america ke tesebesebu sewoch gar uyiyit madrigu yitawqal ezi uyiyit matenakega lay latino americanoch ዶናልድ ትራምፕ ለመሰለይ ጥያቄ አቀርባሉ። ጥያቄያቸው በዶናልድ ትራምፕ በጎሚላሽ በማግኘቱ ምክንያት የላቲን አሜሪካ ፓስተሮች በዶናልድ ትራምፕ ላይ እጃቸው እንጪ ነው ጸልዮ ነው ያሸኙት። ላቲን አሜሪካ ፓስተሮች በዘሎታቸው ዶናልድ ትራምፕ የአሜሪካ ፕሬዝዳንታዊ ምርጫ አሽናፊ እንዲሆን ብሎም ዶናልድ ትራምፕን ከተላት ፍላጻና ከተላት ውጊያ ከተላቶች ከስ ጌታ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ እንዲጠብቀው የዘለዩበት ሁኔታ ነበር በስተመጨረሻም የላቲን አሜሪካ ፓስተሮች ጸሎት ሰምቶ ዶናልድ ትራምፕ 47ኛው የአሜሪካ ፕሬዝዳንት ለመሆን በክቷል የመርጫ ውድድሩንም በዲል አተናቅቋል ማለት ነው ብራዚልን ጨምሮ በርካታ የላቲን አሜሪካ ሀገራት ህዝቦች በጠንካራ እምነታቸው ይታወቃሉ በክርስቲና እምነታቸው ይታወቃሉ እጅግ በጣም ጠንካራ እምነት እንዳላችሁ ይነገራል ነዚ ላቲን አሜሪካ ፓስተሮች የሰለውት ጸሎት ዶናልድ ትራምፕን በቀጥታ ለዲ ላቭ ክቷል ነው የተባለው ስለ ተከታተላችሁን ተባረኩ መልካም ጊዜ Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates